Irregular, Irregular. Man. Irregular. Man. Hey, um, what's up? How you doing? It's the Irregular Man here. And it looks like the Catholic Church has once again stuck its foot in the shitter. Okay, so it seems that Archbishop Pagano has come out and said that Pope Francis has been ignoring or has ignored his warnings about another DC bishop by the name of McCarrick. So Theodore McCarrick has been molesting children over the years. And it seems that no one wants to call this out or they have basically aided and abetted his abuse. So McCarrick is amazingly old, and it's not beyond the realm of possibility that this guy has been doing this for umpteen years, decades probably, and he just recently resigned. So that's a lot to say about Pope Francis actually ignoring what's going on. Also, many are trying to make this out to be political as the new Pope Francis is more of a liberal leaning Pope. And there is a conservative bent within the church that opposes a lot of where he wants to take the church. And much of the direction of the church is really against the traditional ways and values of the church. And look, look, I'm, I'm no actual staunch advocate of Catholicism. Um, I think there's a lot of things wrong with it, and I am a, a staunch critic of it. However, I'm still a Christian, and I'm hoping that they can conserve what's good within Catholicism and let go of whatever is old. But... What Pope Francis is concentrating on is a detriment to what Catholicism is, what Christianity is, and and better yet, what is good for the lives of the body of Christ. And from what I understand, one priest came out and said that the reason the Pope has been silent on this is because he's concentrating on more important things such as illegal immigration, racism, and the acceptance of LGBT and gay rights within the church. And and don't get me wrong, not to say that these things are not important. The problem is, what is more important than the safety of our children? What is more important than making sure that they are respected and treated with kindness and love and not abused while in the church? I mean, for me, it just seems that this just gives everybody a very critical stance on the church and even more so because of the Pope's silence. I think Pope Francis should have at least said something about this issue. Maybe he's afraid that if he does say one thing, he might be condemning himself, which, to be honest, is what he should do. Sometimes that when we do certain things, we are convicted in our spirit, and it, and it tells us that we should make amends. There's something about this where he was actually told what was going on with McCarrick and he did nothing. He said nothing. So as these things fall by the wayside, people suffer. And that is where we need to have some sort of retribution. And there's going to be some fallout. This is a terrible story. 
uh, one that I feel will be revisited over and over again over the next hundred years probably because they never say anything. They never do anything about these bishops, these priests that are obviously committing sins, committing crimes, sex crimes against children in the church. This has been The Irregular Man. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, or subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.